Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of the Reaper Experience. My name is Percy Jules and this video is about customizing menus. Now one of the main features that sets any DAW apart from any other DAW is its interface. So the way we can communicate with the system so that it can do whatever we want it to do. Now let me first open the action list. So from the actions menu, show action list, and here we have the actions list. Now, you might say that the action list in a way is the foundation of Reaper's interface. It is a list of all possible actions that the user can tell Reaper to perform. And by the way, you could do so right from the action list itself. So to do so, I would have to select uh, any action and I would have to click run and the action would be performed. But obviously this isn't an ideal way of working. So there should be easier ways of telling Reaper what actions to perform. And there are. Now one of those alternative methods is through the use of shortcuts. Now a little while ago I already posted a video on how to use that particular method. So I will leave a link in the description for those of you that are interested in using shortcuts. But today I would like to talk about the method that's probably being used most of the time by most people. And that is through the use of menus. Now at the top of the screen you can see all the main menus. So the file menu, the edit menu, the view menu and so on. Now if you click on one of them, the menu opens up and you can see that uh, a number of uh, actions can be performed from this menu. But also if I right click on the screen, let's say in this area for instance, you'll see that a menu pops up. If I right click in this area, you will see that another window pops up with another menu. If I right click here, yet another one. Reaper really has a lot of those menus. And one of the great things about Reaper is that also even these menus are customizable. Now to do that, first we have to go to the options menu and go to customize menus toolbars. Now you'll be prompted with this window. Now at the top of the uh, window, you can see a selection area. If you click on it, you can see all the menus in Reaper. By the way, you can also see all the possible toolbars in Reaper, but for now we're going to focus on just the menus. Now, at the moment we are in the main file menu, and that is this menu right here. Okay, now this area, which is called the customized menu, shows all the actions that are actually in the menu right now. So new project, open project, save project, save project as. And if we open the, the menu, you can see that it corresponds. New project, new project, open project, open project. Okay. Now, this area shows all the default menu items. Now, as you can see at the moment, the customized menu and the default menu are identical. That's because I haven't made any changes to the menu yet. Now let's say that if I open the file menu, for some reason I don't want to see new project. I just don't want it to be there. Now personally, I couldn't think of any reason why I would want that, but just for the sake of this tutorial, let's say that I just want it gone. Now all I would have to do is look in my customized menu, look for new project, which is the first item, select it and go down to where it says remove, click remove, click save. And now if I open the file menu, you will see that new project is gone. It's no longer there. By the way, something else has been added to the menu. If you look to the bottom of the menu, you will see an option that says default menu main file. Now if I hover over it, you will see a sub-menu opening up. And this menu is the default settings, the default actions for this menu. And this menu corresponds with the default menu in the customized menu toolbar window. 
Now the reason it is there is because of this option. And this option says include the default menu as submenu. Now, as soon as there is a difference between customized menu and default menu, this option becomes relevant. And if it's ticked, uh, the default actions will show up as a, a submenu. If I untick it, you will see that that option is gone. Now this option can come in very handy if you've made any changes to your customized menu, but you still would like to have all your uh, default actions at hand. In that case, this option can be very useful. Now to add something to the menu, you can either right click here, hover over insert and choose whatever you want to add, or Go down here to where it says Add, click on it and make your selection. Now if you click on Action, the action list will open up. Now to add any action to your menu, just select any action you would like to add and either click on Select or on Select and Close. And if you click save and open up the menu, you will see that the action has been added. So that's how you add any action to your menu. Now, by the way, if you're not happy with the title of the action, you have the option to just rename it. So to do that, first select whichever action you would like to rename. Go down to where it says rename and name it whatever you like. And click OK and click Save. And you will see that the action has been renamed. And also even the title of the menu can be changed. So to do that first select the menu, then go here to where it says retitle, click on it and just rename it. And you can see that it's no longer called the file menu, but now it's called the TTT menu. Okay, now I just showed you guys how to add some actions to your menu. But for organization purposes, you can add some other things also. So if we go back to add, uh, you will see that actions is the first one on the list. We've covered that, but you can also add a separator. Now let's say that we would like to add a separator in between open project and save project. Now for that we would have to select save project, click add and click separator, click save and now if we open up the TTT menu you will see that a separator has been added in between open project and save project. Now you can imagine that uh, this will give you some more flexibility when it comes to uh, visually organizing your uh, menu. Okay, now what else can we add? Um, let's see, we can add a label. Now let's say that I wanted to add a label just above of save project. Now the way this works is whatever is being added is being added just above of whatever is selected. But let me just make a mistake on purpose. I don't know if that's even possible, but you know what I mean. I'm going to select uh, this separator. And let me just add a label. Now you'll be prompted to name the label. Okay, click add, I click OK and click save. Now as you can see, the label has been added just above of the separator. But I wanted to add it just below of the separator. Now the way to correct this is just to simply drag and drop. Now basically I just wanted to show you guys that you have the option to drag and drop. Anyway, if you click save and go back to the TTT menu, you will see that now the label has been added. Okay, now the final thing we can add is a submenu. Let's say that I wanted to add a submenu just above of this separator. So, selecting the, sub, uh, the separator, 
click add and click sub menu. I'm going to call it test sub, click OK. Now, if we want to add something to this sub menu, we have to put it in between this and this symbol. Now, in between this and this means just above of this one. So I'm going to select this symbol. I'm going to click add, click actions, and let me just select some actions. One, two, and three. So now if I click save and open up the TTT menu again, you will see that a sub menu has been added. And if I hover over it, you will see that there are some actions there. So this way with all these options, you can uh, customize all your menus and make them look exactly the way you prefer. Now, if you're done customizing, it might be a good idea to just save your settings. Now, to do that, you would have to come down here to export. And now you have the option of export, uh, exporting all menus or toolbars, or just the current menu or toolbar. I'm going to go for exporting all menus. Now just name your menu set. I'm going to call mine test menu set. Of course, choose wherever you want to save it and just click save. Now to return to your menu set, obviously you would have to go to import, search for the menu set you wish to return to, select it, click open and click yes and you're back now and finally if at one point for some reason you would like to go back to the default settings you can just go to where it says reset if you click on it you'll be prompted with two options um, you can either reset the current menu or you can reset all menus now I'm gonna go with resetting just the current menu and if you click on it you'll see that uh, the menu has gone back to its original setup and if you click save you'll see that even the title of the menu has now changed back from the TTT menu to just file menu okay that's all for now I hope this helps thanks for watching and I will talk to you soon